In the words of Bradley Manning, Yes, Your Honor, I wrote this statement in confinement. I was deployed to Baghdad. I want people to see the truth. Manning was someone who signed up to be a soldier. He volunteered to be an Iraqi. He was deeply disturbed by what he was seeing as an intelligence analyst in Iraq. At the shooting of the Reuters reporters, civilians by helicopter. <laughs> He leaked documents during the war, and they were enormously helpful for people on the outside to understand what the government was thinking about on the inside. If you join the armed forces, are you accepting on that day when you sign the paper and, and, and you join up that you will turn a blind eye to any war crime that you witness? Particularly in the uniform of our country, if you don't have truth, then we have to ask ourselves, why do we risk anything and what are we fighting for to begin with? He is asking us to look at uh, the consequences of war, the damage that war produces. There is a protocol for, for torture. The Army reports listed some 60,000 civilians dead. Hillary Clinton was ordering State Department employees to spy on diplomats. He's a man who's done things that the mainstream media should have done a long time ago. He ignited this chain of social action. We saw very clearly the discrepancies between what we were being told and what was actually happening. He's a whistleblower, and the whole concept of whistleblower laws and whistleblower protections are you cannot get into trouble for reporting about illegal or improper activity. It's enshrined in our Constitution that an individual has the right to release information and disseminate information that makes the powers that be uncomfortable. It's an absurd charge to be charging him with giving aid and comfort to the enemy. The attempt is to shut down any free flow of information. They want to shut him up, lock him up. To take a risk and to take a stand, knowing that in all likelihood you will be persecuted, penalized, demonized and punished for it, that's incredibly bold. How are you going to act on your conscience when you know if you do so that you could be subject to the death penalty for aiding the enemy for simply being a whistleblower of criminality? Could possibly lead to lifetime imprisonment or even death. I heard his testimony on the day he talked about the torture. It was the most moving day I've ever spent in a courtroom, and I've spent 40 years listening to people talk about how they were tortured. When he first got arrested and was put into a wire cage in a tent and was stripped naked, and paraded around. He drew the cell that he was in on the floor and how he had to lay in the cell and how the light was on him 24 hours. Forced to sleep without cover. Conditions far worse than soldiers who have been convicted of cold-blooded murder. Every single newspaper in this country ought to be screaming, screaming about Bradley Manning. The whole concept of freedom of speech and the freedom of the press these are, this is under direct threat in this, in this one case. It's important that we do have those people who stand up and expose what's really going on. They take enormous risks on our behalf. And we need more like him. And now that I know it, I cannot unknow it. So the question for all of us, when you see atrocities like those that Bradley Manning saw, is the question he asked, if you saw incredible things, awful things, things that belonged in the public domain, and not on some servers stored in a dark room in Washington, D.C., what would you do? What would you do? What would you do? What would you do? I was Bradley Manning. I am Bradley Manning. I am Bradley Manning. I am Bradley Manning. I am Bradley Manning. Bradley Manning. Bradley Manning. Bradley Manning. I hope that we are all Bradley Manning. If it happens to him, it is happening to us. God knows what happens now. Hopefully, worldwide discussion, debates, and reforms. I want people to see the truth. I want people to see the truth. I want people to see the truth. Because without information, you cannot make informed decisions as a public. <laughs>